by the emergency exit. I'm sure you know where the bars are. And uh, apparently we've got a bunch of old lady Packer Max uh, for sale, which are un under the guise of festival wear, which is, is bollocks really. But at a very reasonable 19 pounds each. So, anyway, what can I tell you about this next band? Well, they're a local four piece. Local. Again. I'm from France. You're from France? Yeah. Oh, well, they're a pan-European band, what can I tell you? So, I've been told to apologise profusely, but here we go, are you ready? Now get ready now to put your hands together, give it up, go wild and crazy. Oh, hands over your eyes. For us, full of chips! Uh, we're asked for the chips, we sing some songs that should not be sung out loud uh, in this venue because the police might walk past or mothers with their children might walk past. Uh, the barman earlier said, don't say cunt, we're going to say cunt. This song is called Love Music, Hate Racism or Else. We're going to ease you in gently with a little bit of ass for the chips. These are the words. Love music. Love music. Hate racism. Hate racism. We've all got freedom of speech for hate a BMP or else. Love music. Love music. Hate racism. Hate racism. You are free to choose unless you choose the EDL. And I am not saying I condone racism. In fact, I think it's fucking wrong. But you can't stop racists by singing a fucking song. And I love music. I'm not a fan of racism. But to group the two together is just wrong. Because if you love music, you have to hate racism. And I'm sure even Adolf Hitler had a favourite song. Here we go! Oh, hello, Hitler. How are you? If we're not too bad, but we know like you. Oh, come on, mate. You can't say that. Have you heard Bob Marley? Have you heard Take That? Well, no, I haven't. But I am very racist. Have you not even heard of Flirt or Oasis? Well, check this out, Hitler. I found it your way of this catchy song. You'll be racist no more. Love music. Love music. Hate racism. Hate racism. We've all got freedom of speech, but hate a BMP or E. L-S-E Love music Love music Hate racism Hate racism You are free to choose unless you choose the EDL And I am not saying I condone racism In fact I think it's fucking wrong But you can't stop racist by singing a fucking song We are arse for the chip, let's do this! Yeah, normally at the end of our set, the bloke that's dressed as a woman gets his cock out. But it's a family affair today. We don't want to get anyone in, uh, in trouble, so uh, you won't see any cock tonight, I'm afraid. So, if you love music, are you not... What, what, I don't know the words. Does anyone know the words? So, if you are racist, are you not allowed to like music? Like Nick Griffin's new guitar, he doesn't even use it. He chooses his life, he chooses his way. But did you know he's a big fan of Coldplay? Like Hitler's a fan of Jumba Wumba. And the EDL listened to Samantha Mumba. The KKK took my baby away. They fucking love the Ramones and they love David Gray. Love music, love music. Hate racism, hate racism. We've all got freedom of speech, but hate a BMP or else. Love music, love music. Hate racism, hate racism. You are free to choose unless you choose EDL. And I am not saying I condone racism. In fact, I think it's fucking wrong. 
you can't stop racist by wearing a fucking t-shirt with love music. Hey, racism on it. All right, Hitler, how you doing? You're still racist. No, I'm not. I've been cured. It's been bloody love juice. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on. Yeah, so we were asked, well, if you didn't like that, then you're going to hate the rest of the set. Uh, there's some nice people in the front bar, so you go say that to them. Ten points to anyone who can guess what this song's about. First he was black, and then he was white, and then he touched kids, and then he died. Michael Jackson was a weirdo. He was Peter Pan in Neverland. Macaulay Culkin held his hand. That Peter fired out a plastic nose. As you can see, we haven't got a drummer, so you guys are going to be very fucking responsive. I'm going to shout a one, two, and in time, not like fucking Halifax last night, in time, you're going to scream a one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to sing the verse to this song. You ready? One, two! One, two, three, four! Michael Jackson touched loads of kids, but he always denied all the things he did. Don't blame him on the sunshine, blame him on the moonlight, blame him on the pedo kids in the speedo. Jesus juice looks very nice, but if you're eight years old, you better think twice. You never touch your children, you just love them, and then try to fill them up in the charts. All his singles have gone, if only Jay Goody had released a song. Oh, this is it, 50 days he's dead, and then stretched him out. And now he's dead, I saw Michael Jackson and Wembley, and he was shit first. He was black, and then he was white, and then he touched kids, and then he died. Michael Jackson was a weirdo. He was Peter Pan in Neverland. Cool the cool kid held his hand. That Peter Pan was a plastic He was Peter Pan in Neverland. Cool the cool kid held his hand. One, two, three, four. That Peter Pan was a plastic. That Peter Pan was a plastic. That Peter Pan was a plastic ass. Full, Full of chips. chips! Thank you very much. Well done, Will, you didn't say it. Guys, can we just have a, a big cheer for all the bands that have played today? We somehow got here at 11 a.m. today, so fucking massive cheer for those guys. Every single person played. What a fucking varied lineup today. It's quite daunting for us to come and sing songs about shagging kids and farting and shitting everywhere after some great fucking bands. This song is about mobile phones. Has anyone here got a mobile phone? Has anyone here got an iPhone? Has anyone here got a Nokia phone? Can they still exist? Anyone here got a Samsung phone? Has anyone here used turnips instead of phones? I've got an iPhone and now my phone. It's got apps, it's got maps and you can make your face fat and I can play Angry Birds while I'm having a poop. Well, I've got a Samsung. It's got a problem. It always stalls whenever I try to call. This would never have happened if I had a lovely iPhone. I've got a Sony. I feel lonely. My phone is shit and I'm sick of it. I wish my phone was a lovely iPhone. I've got a Blackberry. It's not very good at that. I haven't got many apps and I can't play Angry Birds. Well, I'm doing a six. That's not the end of the song, so don't worry, now the cheer. Whatever this bloke dresses a woman, puts his arms in the air like that. You guys scream as loud as you can. I've got an app for that. This song is called Planet of the Apps. I need a shit. I've got an app for that. I feel sick. I've got an app for that. that stands weird. I've got an app for that. Will's got a ginger beer. I've got an app for that. I need some booze. I've got an app for that. Some new shoes. I've got an app for that. Some food. I used to have a Nokia face with temper and I found it hard, found it difficult to send. Text some pictures to my friends, it was only of a snake, and that was then, and this is now. And now we're all online. Did you just get text? Or was it mine? Where's the nearest Tesco's? Can you find? Don't stop to follow the twelve! I need shit. I'm going out for that. I feel sick. I'm going out for that. Stands weird. I'm going out for that. Whoa, 
Joe's got a gingerbread. I've gone up for that. I need some food. I've gone up for that. The new shoes. I've gone up for that. Some food. I've gone up for that. And I think you're very rude. I've gone up for that. So how the fuck are we doing, Doc So 2012? iPhone and now my phone It's got apps, it's got maps and you can make your face flat I can play with birds while I'm having a blue I need a shit I'm going out for that I feel sick I'm going out for that I'm going out for that I'm going out for that I need some booze I'm going out for that Some new shoes I'm going out for that Some food I'm going out for that I'm not thinking very rude I'm going out for that I need a shit I'm going out for that I feel sick I'm going out for that Stats win I'm going out for that World's got a ginger beer I'm going out for that I need some booze I'm going out for that Some new shoes I'm going out for that Some food I'm going out for that World's got a ginger beer I'm going out for that Ooh, Iris, I'm finding up the abs 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 God damn you, God damn dirty, filthy abs I'm out for that Nice one, thank you very much You look really nice What? What a fucking relief, we thought you were going to boo us off and lynch us We've got the van, like, we've turned the motor on, we're ready to run away. So yeah, beautiful. Uh, this song is about what would happen if this shambolic, glorious mess were to go on the X Factor. A few months ago as a joke, I applied for X Factor. It's a true story. And I got a reply from them really fast. What an amazing and great opportunity, I thought. But then I didn't go because I couldn't be asked. Can we have all the ladies screaming like they're doing a really painful poo? One, two, three! But what if ask for the cheers for our new X Factor? I call Summit Calicut, New Wars is right, and that'll be the end of that. Well, well baby, baby, what if I went down to the audition like I said I should? Do you think that we'd be the next gen would? Well, probably not, cause we don't conform when our one less band will make you yawn. Apart from Stan, we don't have dance routine. I don't wear v necks and skinny jeans. A song about rape is a big mistake. If you're taken to a date, down is fake. The crowd will love us, we'll easily win when Stan gets naked. And then we'll sing the Don't Take the Pets, cause we're no Garricades, we'll be the only band. The audience hates the slates and we love, but Danny must know. The song will say, For me, it's a no. What if us for the cheers for on the X Factor? I call Sonic Color Cut, New Wars is right, but that will be the end of that. Oh, baby! But what if I went down to the audition like I said I should? Do you think that we'd be the next Jed was instrumental? Yeah, I reckon they probably wouldn't let us go through to the next round of X Factor. I'm about to tell you why. Cause we're not black You can't say that And we're not gay It is a bit And we can't sing Can't dance Can't play guitar Is what Simon Cow Will probably say We can't use A song that rude We can't sell a band That features Stanley Mackerel You've mentioned me three times In this song What if Ask for the cheers for our DX Factor I call Simon Calacan, New Wars Twat And that'll be the end of that Oh baby! But what if I went down to the audition like I said I should? Do you think that we'd be the next gen? Let's see you dancing, Bolton! What if Ask for the cheers for our DX Factor? 
I'm cool, so they tell a cunt I knew it was just why But I'm in the end of that Oh baby, I what if I went out to the auditions Like I said I should Do you think that we be the next Edward? Do you think we get to play at the Jubilee of a Royal? Or would we be fans at Army Lights to the Royal? Oh baby, when you next on Google search for two girls, one cup. She eats her mate's shit, then vomits it back up. They posted it on the internet for everyone to view. And now they are both famous for eating their own poop. Oh, two girls, one cup is the best thing that I've ever seen. It makes me want chocolate ice cream. And if you chop off your knob, post it on YouTube. Well, that's pretty cool. But I'd rather see shit than blood any day. Thank you so much. What's this song about, Will? Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a song about your favourite film. I hope you enjoy it. It's on YouTube. Like your mum. And the guy that booked us last time we played has never seen us last time. And now he's here. Everything okay, yeah? Cool, cool. Uh, basically, we've not got to the bit where we shit all over the audience and then uh, have sex with their shitty assholes. But you haven't seen the diarrhea cannon. It all comes soon. Mm. Okay, guys, who here just wants to have a fucking laugh? As I said earlier, we've got some, we had some fucking great bands on earlier, but none of them were like, you know, none of them were going to make you do a conga around the, the, the garden of, you know, uh, the dog and partridge in Bolton. So that's exactly what's going to happen. It is the Jubilee fucking weekend, which means that about 80% of us don't have to go to work on Tuesday. This lovely man here, aka, let's see your face, the Queen, is going to lead you guys in a conga around this garden during this song. If you don't join in, that means you are boring and you are barred from the dog and partridge. If you do join in, there are cameras everywhere and they're filming you and you all get a free pint. This song is called Shoulda Gone to Specsavers. It's about Harry Potter. It's not true about the pint. What sort of bloke? lives under the stairs and carries a wand around every day. Bloody pop! He hangs around with Ron and his ginger brothers who were both incestually gay. More bloody pop, says Philip. His best friend's an owl and a fucking old man and he flies around on a broom. Stan, you got to do, do a conga. And not in one book does he try and put his cock in her mayonnaise. Where's the sleeve? Go, Harry Potter. Fair pair of glasses with hair like that. Super tight. Who never touch girls' asses? Should have got that scar. Lays it off. Stop doing magic tricks. Then a mighty would be sucking. Harry Ron and Harry Dick. Then again, now Harry Potter. Super tight. Fair pair of glasses with hair like that. Super tight. Who never touch girls' asses? Should have got that scar. Lays it off. Stop doing magic tricks. Then a mighty would be sucking. Harry Ron and Harry Dick. Anyone for game of Quidditch? Well, I said no. Because Quidditch is shit. It's like American football on a freaking roof. They get up your ass. Let's see the Conga. Come on, guys. Don't be lazy. Got a few things like Dobby. And he's playing and he got him. He touches kids, but this ain't a problem. And run. Check Dumbledore. But don't tell Hagrid. He'll eat your ass raw. Harry had no friends. Till he was 10. This probably explains why Conga died. Spent all his time waking under the stairs. His parents are dead, but nobody cares. Voldemort again, more than a scar. Great baby Harry and Rift is not star. If I saw Harry in a pub today, I'd shout all your bad because you're a cunt. Da 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 da. Cheers, Harry Potter. Fair pair of glasses with hair like that. The super tall. Who never touched girls' asses? Should have got that scar. Raise it off. Stop the magic tricks. Then a mighty would be sucking. Harry Ron and Harry Stick. Then again, now Harry Potter. The super tall. Fair pair of glasses with hair like that. The super tall. Who never touched girls' asses? Should have got that scar. Raise it off. Stop the magic tricks. Then a mighty would be sucking. Harry Ron and that's the worst conga I've ever seen. The stupid swat. Lays it off. Sucking. Shooting gone. D 
de ship in zwa. Blijf dan, we zijn ook een poosje hebben. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. with hell I Never touch girls ass, it's shit, you got that scar Raise it up Stop the magic tricks, let a mighty whip me Suck it Hagrid, Ron and Harry think that again now Harry Potter It's shit, you got Bear, pair of glasses with hair like Sleep it twat Who never touch girls ass, it's shit, you got that scar Raise it up Stop the magic tricks, let a mighty whip me Suck it Hagrid, Ron and Harry Dicks Give yourself a round of applause, nice and very, very right So we don't run over, we're gonna do a couple more. Uh, in this song, we've been, basically this guy here normally gets stark bollock naked and does as many naked roly polies as he can in 30 seconds. So if you want to see that, he has to come and see us again somewhere else. But for tonight, he's gonna to strip down to his pants. Uh, so this is Stanley Mackerel. This song is about the fact that Sven Goran Eriksson's obsessed with Ask the Mouth of Ulrika Johnson. How we feel? Is everyone, is, so who's pissed? Anyone pissed? Okay, you guys are all going to sing with us an F. An F is this. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do that now. Uh, you're going to see some fucking brilliant stuff. I'm spent my Everybody knows my name. I'm the one that fucked Ulrika Johnson. I didn't really ask her, then she saw my car. That's right, she licked my balls. Sven Goran Eriksson, everybody knows my name. I'm the one that fucked Ulrika Johnson. I didn't really ask her, then she saw my car. That's right, she touched my face. Gabby, 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 or rip as a fucking jealous man. Fucked her in the arse, then he came on with a hammer. Sent in a bow ties, anything to go by. Did a kind of star, well, then you come and I'm right. Hear that, hear that sound, it sounds like cool weather. And just the river, just a going down a 20 pound, and she tells all this. Ferrari Blair. One, two, three! I'm Sven Goran Eriksson, everybody knows my name. I'm the one that fucked Ulrika Johnson. I did her in the arse and then she saw my cock. That's right, she touched my hair. Sven Goran everybody knows my name. I'm the one that fucked Ulrika Johnson. I did her in the arse and then she saw my cock. That's right, she sat the balls. We're moving out a bit too full of sleep. Listen up to a bit more clean but you last full of tin Spreading like a disease Jewel like eating crackers and cheese Guys, thanks so much for sticking around, it does mean a lot We have been here a long time We are pissed out of our faces I Sven Lauren Erickson, everybody knows my name I'm the one that fucked on Rick Johnson I did her in the arse and then she saw my car That's right, she licked my balls Sven Lauren Erickson, everybody knows my name I'm the one that fucked on Rick Johnson I did her in the arse and then she saw my car The song is not over yet. Right, I want the whole of this beer garden to split into two sections. My right side, my left side. Come on, let's get two meters down the middle, guys. Come on, pick a side, pick a side. One of the sides will be shagged. Pick a side, okay, cool. So you guys on my right side, scream as loud as you can. Motherfucker. You guys on my left side, scream as loud as you can. Fucking hell, you guys made them look like cunts. If you want to join their side, go for it. Okay, we're going to teach you some fucking words, okay? And you're going to do it brilliantly. If you don't do it brilliantly, this guy's taking his clothes off. He has got a cock. He has got balls. He has got an arsehole. He will be coming to say hello. So you guys, repeat after me. Arse to mouth! Arse to mouth! Imagine if you're a policeman walking past right now. Like, what the fuck is going on? Arse to mouth! So now we're going to try with just pointing. You ready? Louder, come on. Louder! Okay, you guys, because you seem a lot more intelligent than those guys, we're going to try it a little bit more tricky. Okay, we're going to go for arse, 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 arse to mouth. Okay, can we, you reckon you can do that? So make them look like fucking idiots. You ready? Arse, 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 arse to mouth! Ass, 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 to mouth. Ass, 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 to mouth. Ass, 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 to mouth. Do you think you've got it? Yeah, let's do it with just pointing. You ready? Ass, 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 ass,
I still think the right side's better. Awesome mouth. Yeah, so, so they're the words, and it goes like this. Oh, my nation! everybody knows my name. I'm the one that fucked Dory Johnson. I did her in the arse and then she saw my car. Guys, well, thanks so much. You guys are fucking brilliant. I'm pleased we're the only band that's had that uh, arse to mouth song. Imagine we turned up earlier and every single band just coincidentally had a bit where they stopped the audience to get them to shout arse to mouth. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? Uh, we got, have we got enough time for two more? How are we doing, Mr. Salman? We'll, we'll lick your gooch. Okay, basically, like, obviously we're in this band. Uh, it's pretty stupid. Uh, we have a term band, for, yeah. for us being idiots, and it's about us being idiots. We're absolute retards, okay? So you it's guys... An you guys are going to shout that ass. Whenever you see the naked or the guy in his pants, put both his arms in the air, you're going to shout at us. Absolute retards. You're going to call us absolute He goes like this. I'll just sing it once and then I'll teach me, yeah? You're an absolute retard. You're an absolute retard. Now it's just you guys, ready? Without the guitar. You're a bunch of idiots. Every single lyric in this song is absolutely true. When his arms are in the air, you shout those words. I've got a degree in philosophy. You're an absolute retard. I can sell you electricity. You're an absolute retard. I fell off a moped recently. You're an absolute retard. I can teach you the scale in the key of two. You're an absolute retard. Ask for the chips are like spinal tap. We've had ten from numbers, but we still great crap. Fuck that, who said that? I could have plus on me. We got fun and the weekend fucking and at me and, and you. you. I gotta get drunk and do some shots and if you like his daddy back will show you his cock, but that's rock and roll. The soul been told. It doesn't the dark doesn't can't even hold it. It's not the guitar. Guitar. It's only a dim as like wearing some clothes and rust going to the gym a hill when where they come to get in you just like shakes and really ain't nowhere they come to vegan food off his farm choose your run up warm watch out rough and kiss your girlfriend and your mum face smell like garlic and I get stew so do a pretty gal you smell the dog poo I've got a degree in philosophy you're an absolute retard I can say electricity you're an absolute retard you're an absolute retard I can teach you the scale in the key of G You're an absolute retard And who am I to say anything If a celebrity dies, I start to sing But when I was young, please don't laugh I had really bad diarrhea and did a poo in the bath So you guys would say bath and laugh But that's because you're from Bolton I shot myself in front of my mum I'm an absolute retard It's true The back of her album features my bum I'm an absolute retard I've got a really lovely moustache I'm an absolute retard And my full name is Raphaela Shash You're an absolute retard I had a shot of my piss for £25 You're an absolute retard I look like I was born with Downs You're an absolute retard I look like I could be tiny You're an absolute retard I'm smelly and French and I only eat cheese You're an absolute retard I wipe my arse and get poo on my hand You're an absolute retard I don't play anything in this band You're an absolute retard Scared me and I only eat things You're an absolute retard And I let Snoopy go once and I like Jonathan Crick You're an absolute retard we're all in a band called Arse Full of Jets. We're all absolute retard. You should buy me a beer and I'll suck your dick. 
We're all absolute retards You're all really smelly and your mum smell like we You're all absolute retards Please buy our t-shirts and CDs, you wankers That's You're it. all absolute retards Our mothers, they're not proud of us We'd be better off lying under a bus We're us full of chips And we're absolute retards Nice one, thank you very much Normally at this point in an Arse for the Chips gig, you would have seen his kidneys. Uh, so this next song, yeah, basically me, my missus and this guy, we went to Tesco's to buy some dinner and a guy ran up to like the group and went, you went, oh, Arse for the Chips! And I was like, oh, you cool. He pushed me out of the way, the guy that sings the words, and plays the, an instrument, and he went up to, up to Stan and went, are you that bloke who gets his willy out? So this song is, it goes out to Stan. It is our last song tonight and it is called are you that bloke who gets his willy out? We have got t-shirts and stuff. If you do want to see his cock, private shows in the toilets in 15 minutes. Ten pound. Guys, if we were to come back to Bolton, would you come and watch us? I'm looking at you. Can we have a round of applause for fucking every person that is involved with helping out today? Because even the cookies people over there, brilliant, come on! <laughs> fucking brilliant. Welcome back. This is like the third time we've ever played outside. The last time we did it, we were kicked off after 17 minutes for indecent exposure. That's not bad going, really. Yeah, this is our last song. <laughs> it must be hard waking up every day. Knowing that you have got to get on stage and get, and get your willy out. It must be hard telling your friends from work that you play in a band called Arse Full of Chips and, and get your willy out. When your mum asks you what you do in your band, do you tell her you dance? Do you tell her you sing and get, get your willy out when you need some food and you end up in Tesco's? Let's see you dancing and a run and blow goes. Stand, give us a dance and get your willy out. You that bloke who gets his willy out. You that bloke who gets his willy out. In the final song, you strip down to a bong, you get your cock out, rock out. You the bloke who gets his willy out. You the bloke who gets his willy out. Let's have some people dancing. It must be hard waking up every day, knowing that you have gone to get on stage and get your willy out. It must be hard. Telling your friends from work that you play in a band called Arsenal. Everybody! And get your willy out when your mum asks you what you do in your band. Do you tell her you dance? Do you tell her you sing? And get your willy out when you need some food and you end up in Tesco's. And around a blow goes Stand, give us a dance, everybody! And get your willy out Are you that bloke who gets his willy out? Are you that bloke who gets his willy out? In the final song you strip down to a bong You get your cock out, rock out You're the bloke who gets his willy out You're the bloke who gets his willy out You, the band that is arse full of chips tonight. Please, when I call out their names, I want every single fucker in this beer garden to scream as loud as you fucking can. Can we do that, guys? Can we do that? Let's do it, okay? Starting off, he is so lovely. He is one of the loveliest people on this stage, at least in the top four. On the bass, ladies and gents, a great friend of mine, it's Clinker! Yeah. 
Yeah, like, even if you don't like any of us individually, please do cheer so we don't go home and cry ourselves to sleep. He, uh, he's okay on a guitar. A good friend of mine is half French. It's Raphael! down there and say hello. Okay guys, there are only two members of ours for the chips left to, to, you know, to introduce. I feel bad that you don't get any cock. He normally break dances, but we don't normally play when there's cobbled streets in front of the stage. The penultimate member of Arse for the Chips, he is the only bloke in this beer garden in a pair of pants. Please cheer for a good friend of mine, it's Stanley Blackwell! Let's have a lot of jingles. It's Stanley Blackwell. All right, boys and girls, we've seen all the idiots. Now it's time for the ballad. Here's the lead singer. Here's the rhythm guitar. William Bailey. It's really hard having a friend like Stan. When you introduce him to any of your friends, he gets his willy out. You that bloke who gets his willy out. You that bloke who gets his willy out. In the final song, you trip down to a farm and get your cock out, rock out. You the bloke who gets his willy out. You that bloke who gets his willy out. You that bloke who gets his willy out. In the final song, you strip down to a farm and get your cock out, rock out. You the bloke who gets his willy out. Thank you so fucking much, guys. <laughs> that is the end of our set. If you've got any money left, come and spend it on all our t-shirts. Lovely. Have a good night.